All right, now here's the next thing. And I tried to be impartial and cool about this and not get it. Man, fuck that, man. Fuck Tory Lanez, okay? And I don't care if this go viral or none of that shit. I'm from Houston, and if somebody would have done something to Megan in this city, we would have rolled. Megan in L.A. by herself. It's just her T. Ferris. She ain't got a mama no more. Her mama is gone. Her daddy is gone. Her grandmother is gone. All the people that loved her and cared about her unconditionally, that looked out for her and would have protected her, ain't there. So as an OG in Houston, I'm standing up. Tory Lane did some whole ass shit. Period. Yeah, I, I know Tory. I know his manager. I know all of them, man. Fuck all that, though. Fuck all that. If the man on drugs, get him some goddamn rehab. If the man got mental health issues, get him some therapy. But you're not just going to sit here and shoot this girl. And we not say nothing. This shit not real. This, I mean, this is not real nigga shit. It's not. Anytime a man hurts a woman, that's obsession. That ain't love. That's obsession. You know what I'm saying? And he had no reason to shoot this girl. She want to get out the car? Get out the car. You get into it with your gal, she mad? I'm a, let me out. Pull the fuck over. Because whatever you got to deal with with that, it's going to be better than if you don't do that and you try to restrain a woman and then shit get physical. Because if she ready to get out the car and you don't let her get out the car, she's going to get physical with you. And she got a right to. Let her out the goddamn car. No, he ain't from New York. He from Canada. So at the very least, they're going to deport his ass. He got to go back to Canada. But when nobody's talking about it because it's a black woman. Y'all can say what y'all want. I'm just, just, that's just what it is. If Benji, the twin from Good Charlotte, had put his hands on Cameron Diaz or somebody, if some, what, you let one of these actors... Or somebody that fuck with one of these, these white women in Hollywood, put, they, put your hands on Alyssa Milano and see what happens. Put your hands on Lady Gaga and see how quick they lock your ass up. We love Megan Hill. We brag about Megan. Everybody want to talk about that. Nobody's saying nothing when she gets shot. No, we got memes. We got jokes. We got all that shit. Man, fuck that. That shit's supposed to be on the 530 National News. Constantly. That shit ain't even, I'm in Houston. They ain't even, I don't think they ever talked about it on local news here. That's a Houstonian. And yeah, she did, and, and, and God bless all the black women, because black women be knowing black men be in the wrong, and they still stand up for black men. Why? Because they know what white people do to black men. This is why black women are so hesitant to speak up for uh, to speak against black men because she know black women know how the legal system will treat black men. They know how white America will treat black men when they do something wrong. And black women bite their tongue behind the shit that we do. They've done it for centuries. They put themselves in front of us constantly. You look at any civil rights movement. You look at any, you look at segregation, Jim Crow, civil rights, everything. Black women on the front line. Black women on the front line. She wasn't just scared. She wasn't just scared for herself because she's in a position now where she know that they can't touch her no more. She was scared of what was going to happen to him. If you go back and look at that live, you'll see it. She was worried about what would happen to him. She didn't want him to lose his career because it's so hard for black men to get that kind of employment, to make that kind of, of money in America. She know how hard it is for a black man to be successful in America, to beat the conditions that hold us down in America. That's why that girl didn't go to the police. She tried to cover for him at his worst, at his lowest. How many of y'all know, don't know a black woman that done that for their man, their brother, their cousin, their daddy, their nephew, their neighbor? Black women have been protecting black men 
since the beginning of time. Him, we talking about uh, Tory Lanez. We talking about Tory Lanez. She wasn't scared of Tory Lanez once that shit happened. She wasn't scared when it happened. She probably was shocked. But I don't believe for a second that Megan Thee Stallion is scared of Tory Lanez. Because Megan know, Megan got a bodyguard that would literally said, if I would have been there that night, that shit wouldn't have happened, and we know why. I, I understand that kind of talk. Because he's a black man that know he has to protect her. She ain't got nobody else to protect her. He took that on himself. Now somebody said, I don't know a black woman alive who hasn't at some point right or wrong protected a black man. I know too many. I'm married to one. Only reason I'm not dead now is because my wife put herself in front of the gun and tried to stall a nigga out that came in our house long enough for, to get me the pistol. And God is my witness. My wife said, all I know is if he would have killed me, you would have still had a chance to get the gun and kill him. Now, what kind of shit is that? So how do you address Tory? Now, you don't address Tory. My life going to be the same whether or not Tory Lanez is in my life. My life not going to change. My life hasn't improved by knowing that my life is not, not going to be worse from not knowing but Megan, I know. And I told Megan that we got her back. But way before this happened, Megan did a show here in Houston. And I told her, we love you and we got your back. And so I'm doing this. I'm, I'm doing all this because this is just what needs to be said right now. And if there's going to be some ramifications between my, behind my statements, let the OG take that. What the fuck you call yourself an OG for if you ain't on the front line looking out for people? Tory Lanez not allowed in a lot of places. Tory Lanez, he, Tory Lanez is from Canada, so he's going to get. He's going at the very least. He's going to get deported to Canada. At the DNC, Joe Biden ain't say nothing about black restructuring the black community. You expect to see it at the RNC. <laughs> King Reese, is that what you're waiting for? You you expect the RNC to, to pump that shit to you? What the fuck has this administration done for black people now? You got to take a chance, man. Fuck all that about what they ain't done, man. We that, That's up to us then. That's facts, Cleo. Cleo says she needed them gladiators on deck. You goddamn right. Bryce Davis on the check-in, and as y'all heard, Texas legend Bum B went off on Tory Lanez for allegedly shooting Meg the Stallion, and you know, there were some points where I gotta respectfully disagree with the OG on, and you know, first of all, I wanna address the fact that, you know, this is still going on in court, and you know, if Tory Lanez ends up being innocent, then all that shit just flies out the window, because I remember when that shit first happened, Everybody had something to say. Like, everybody jumped out the window going, you know, talking shit about Tory this, Tory that. And, you know, me, I'm the type of person where I just sit back and observe and I wait for the facts to come out. You know, I don't allow my feelings to dictate my most, you know, like how I respond to things. So, you know, let's see how that plays out. And I'm not saying that Tory Lanez is, you know, a good guy because we don't know. Because, you know, in the past he's done a lot of dumb shit. You know, the shit with August Alcina, a lot of similar shit, you know. So we know that he be wilding out, like that's no question. But you know, the narrative of, you know, the black woman always got the black man's back. I don't know about that one, because you know, in domestic situations, we always assume that it's the man that's doing the wrong. We can't ever hold the woman accountable if she did something wrong. And you know, that was another point I wanted to talk about is you know I'm saying the black woman always had the black man's back. Cause in that situation, if that was my daughter and a man shot my daughter, tried to end her life, tried to kill her, tried to wipe her off existence, never letting her see her kids again, things of that nature, my G. You think I'm gonna tell my daughter, yo, don't tell the police to protect that black man. That's not protecting the black man. That's not even protecting your goddamn self. Like, we gotta hold some accountability here. Like, 
Yo, like she was just looking out for the black man and the black woman has always been by the black man's side. No, my G, we got whole people fucking accountable because what she did was wrong. Like my, think of it as your own kid, like a man shooting your kid and your kid protecting the enemy. And you saying that, you know, it's the black man right. I mean, black woman riding for the black man. No, 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 no. You can't be doing that. If you really want to get technical, you know, uh, I ain't trying to get Kevin Samuels on nobody, but you know, as soon as Section 8, food assistance, welfare, cash assistance, all those things came out, it's hard to say that the black man, I mean, black woman stuck with the black man, my G. It's real hard to say after that. So, you know, all I'm trying to say is we got to start holding people accountable. And my biggest point is I just disagree with the whole scenario of Meg Thee Stallion was, you know, protecting the black man by not mentioning it to the police. Let that be your daughter and a man put a gun to her and just fucking shot her and a bullet went in your child and you telling your child protect that man because he's black and you got to protect the black man. Nah. Nah, and I'm not trying to, you know, aim all this at Bun B, but it's more so the whole, you know, scenario what's going on and the narrative. I mean, that that's what I'm talking about. But anyway, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.